Hello, I'm Illustrated Elucidation. I'm a chemistry graduate and now I would like to again explaining Dr. Stone parts with the chemistry knowledge that I have. Kohaku successfully broke the Soyuz capsule, retrieved its contents, and delivered it to Senku in Sapphire Cave. It was revealed that Byakuya had spent a lot of his time panning gold in the river until he died. To help Senku or anyone else, they start civilization with precious metals. Among the gold, there are grains of platinum, which is the entire reason of Senku and friends coming to this petrification island. The platinum is used to make infinite revival formula generating machine. That's what Senku said. Of course, my main topic for this chapter is this, the contraption and the theory behind it. This process of reacting ammonia into nitric acid using platinum as catalyst is commonly called Oswald process. The process can be split into two stages, one that requires platinum catalyst and one that doesn't. In the first stage, ammonia is reacted with oxygen with platinum catalyst to form nitrogen monoxide and water vapor. In the second stage, nitrogen monoxide reacts with oxygen again to form nitrogen dioxide, then nitrogen dioxide reacts with water to form nitric acid. Let's look deeper at the first stage. The first stage reaction oxidizes ammonia into nitrogen monoxide or nitric oxide. There are many other reactions that can oxidize ammonia. We won reaction number 3 while avoiding many other reactions, especially number 1 and number 5, which give useless nitrogen gas that compose roughly 80% of our air already. We also want to avoid reaction 6, which is a side reaction where freshly produced nitrogen monoxide molecules react with unreacted ammonia to make another useless nitrogen gas molecules. The choice of catalyst is important here to drive the reaction into the reaction we want, which is number 3. The best catalyst for this one is platinum, or its alloy, like 10% rhodium and 90% platinum. The first step needs elevated pressure and high temperature, so that is why you see fire in this part of Senku's build. In chemistry, a catalyst is a thing that makes a reaction go faster by allowing the use of steps or mechanism that has low barrier of entry. In our case, the step with low barrier of entry is probably reaction number 3. A catalyst is used in the beginning of reaction, but also regained in the end of the reaction, so the net result is that the catalyst is not consumed in the reaction and can be used repeatedly. In practice, not being consumed in the reaction doesn't mean that the platinum can sit pretty eternally. The platinum will slowly get weaker physically and crumble into dust. It's chemically still platinum, it's just physically changed. If the dust is carefully collected, you can melt the platinum back and make that ribbon again. In the second stage, the nitrogen monoxide produced is oxidized further without catalyst. The nitrogen monoxide is first transformed into nitrogen dioxide. Then the nitrogen dioxide is absorbed in water, producing nitric acid and nitrogen monoxide again. Of course, the nitrogen monoxide can be reused. Besides of not needing catalyst, this stage also has lower temperature requirement. That's why you don't see fire for this stage in Senku's build. But about reusing nitrogen monoxide, I either don't see it here or I misunderstand things. What are these three things, fans? And it appears after the end flash, the tube loops back to ammonia after passing through three of those fans. Are those fans open to air? After all, this Oswald process needs oxygen from air for the entire process. And what's the use of Erlenmeyer flash after the ammonia that is filled with shells and sodium hydroxide? Is it to lower pH? Is it to catch water vapor so the ammonia is dry before use? I bet I thought the reaction is not water sensitive. And I don't think nitrogen monoxide can react with the shells or with the sodium hydroxide. Which may be a bad thing, because it will arrive in the catalyst and mix with the unreacted ammonia to make useless nitrogen gas. Reaction 6. And this part. Is it connected to the fan thing or not? Anyway, here's the usual school version of Oswald process diagram. This Oswald process produces nitric acid, which is super useful. Its usefulness is not only to be combined with alcohol to revive stone stages in our fictional story. In real world, nitric acid is also useful to make things that go boom, like we saw back in season 1 and 2. But the more useful function of nitric acid is as fertilizer, together with ammonia to form ammonium nitrate. 
Speaking of ammonia, it is the starting material in Oswald process. But usually we don't use urine as ammonia salt in IRL Oswald process because we have something else that is rich in nitrogen, which is air, 80% nitrogen. There is a reaction that transforms N2 to NH3, although that is another long story. In conclusion, what we saw in chapter 116 is Sanku's take on Oswald process, which is an oxidation of ammonia catalyzed with platinum. The first stage uses that platinum to drive ammonia into the correct reaction, which produces nitrogen monoxide. The platinum's function is to speed up the reaction without getting consumed, although it will still break physically. The second stage doesn't need catalyst, and the nitrogen monoxide is oxidized further into nitrogen dioxide, then absorbed into water becoming nitric acid. There are some stuff that I don't quite get in Senku's contraption, such as the three fans and the flash with shells and sodium hydroxide. With this Oswald process unlock, the nitric acid produced can be used as fertilizer, explosives, and reviving petrified people in this world of fiction. That's all I have for now. If you have questions on the part that I haven't explained clearly, do not hesitate to comment your questions below. Like the video if you are satisfied already, and subscribe if you want more videos like this from me. Thanks for watching.